China's government wants more children throughout the country to take advantage of high-quality educational resources. That was one of the messages from Premier Wen Jiabao during this month's big meetings in Beijing, putting more distance learning equipment in rural schools. That means putting more educational materials online. In Shanghai today, an English-language education company showed off its newly developed online learning system. But our Li Zhongwei reports the company fears its efforts won't earn enough respect. Typing, clicking, or at your own pace. That's one good thing about online learning. You're the one controlling when to start and stop, and the multimedia material can make studying more fun. At least I, I never fall asleep. Uh, the most interesting part, I feel, is the movie part. That's part of the way the school is trying to attract more students. We went to California and we shot 500 mini-movies that comprise our curriculum. So when students are studying, they're following a plot of a movie, and that really helps them uh, follow the, the, the learning in a more detailed and more engaged way. But as their efforts go online, school officials say they do have some concerns about people stealing their copyrighted material. We worry a little bit. Um, we spend a lot of money on it, so we don't, we don't necessarily want it to be uh, given away for free. Last year, Shanghai had nearly 1,500 lawsuits involving intellectual property rights, most of them involving copyright. One local lawyer says he has had IPR cases involving online education where some students or self-proclaimed students registered just to get the access to the educational material. They download it and sell it to make money. That definitely violates the school's IPR. I suggest they sign contracts with their students. That say users may not infringe the school's rights. They should also announce clearly all their rights in their videos and other educational materials in case there is a lawsuit later. Also, they can try using better technology against improper downloading. Fu also says intellectual property rights aren't just an issue between schools and students, but between schools and their teachers. He says unless an employment contract specifically states, otherwise teachers retain the intellectual property rights to all of their speech and opinions in the classroom. It's on what ISIS News.